side, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, there are only 12 more days until Trailer Park Christmas, and if you've been following along on your calendar, which you've got on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, you'll see that today's recipe video is called Dunkin' and Dippin'. And you know, it gets around this time that you got people dropping over to the trailer or your home, and they're looking for things to snack on. And I took a poll on my Facebook page, and people love dips and things for chips and vegetables and those little toast rounds and things like that. And people seem to like the spicy ones and the cheesy ones. And I've worked on this recipe for a while. And actually this was perfect for St. Patrick's Day too, but it's great for the holidays too when people are searching for those snacks. And it's a Reuben dip. Yes, that's right. Just like the sandwich, it bakes down into a nice dip in a nice little baking tray that people can dip crackers in there and those little rye cute little toast rounds in there or bread rounds and it sure is great for dipping around the holidays. It's my Reuben dip up on the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my Reuben dip sure is simple around the holidays. All you need is a 9 by 13 baking pan and when you need a dip to run out for a party with, this is going to be great. What I did is I went to the store and I got some Thousand Island dressing. I got a half a cup of that. And I've got that in here. And if you don't want to buy the big bottle of it, maybe you could put it in one of those little containers at the ready to eat salad bar. Maybe it's cheaper there. I don't know. I'll find mine for about 99 cents for the bottle. I also have a half cup of mayonnaise. And I'm using Duke's mayonnaise, which is my favorite. You all know that. And I'm going to mix that together with the Thousand Island dressing. Next up, you're going to need some sauerkraut. And I bought it in the can. You need about 16 ounces of it. And I've rinsed it off in the sink. And I've squeezed it down into the colander so that it's nice and dry. We're going to take this and put it in the bottom of our baking dish. So go ahead and put that in your baking dish. There we go. We've got the sauerkraut down in the bottom of the pan. Now, we need the cheese, and I bought the Swiss cheese already shredded up, and I find I need about three of these bags. And, you know, it was on sale, and you could shred your own if you want, but this was just easier for me. So now we're going to take this, and we're going to layer it with the corned beef, which I went to the deli section, and I asked them to shave it for me so it's already chopped up. You can do it in the food processor, but he did it right there in the store for me. So now we're just going to layer that up on top of the sauerkraut, mixing some of the sauce as we go all the way up to the top. There we go. We've got everything layered up with the cheese and the corned beef and the sauce on the actual sauerkraut down in the bottom. I like to spruce it up on the top with some chopped green onions and some bacon right up on top, just like that and maybe a sprinkle of paprika right there on top to make it look real pretty. And we preheated the oven at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. So go ahead and set your timer. Welcome back, and there you have it, my Reuben dip, and look at that, it's nice and brown and bubbly on top with the bacon and the paprika and the green onion, you could probably add some onion to it in the mixture too if you like, but it sure is great, nice and bubbly out of the oven with a nice cracker platter around it with your next buffet table or just a next get together with your friends, and I've got a cracker here and I just can't 
wait to try it, and it's probably really hot, and it's going to burn me. So let's give it a try. There we go. Mmm! That tastes like the best Reuben sandwich you've ever had. Maybe at a great diner while it's snowing outside. Mmm! That's such a great dip, and it just tastes very homemade and so great. I hope you get a chance to make my Reuben dip. And if you do, send me pictures at Jolene Sugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And add me on Google+. Plus. That's where I am, too. Don't forget to visit trailerparkchristmas.com for your calendar so you know what video is coming out for the day until the 25th. And also, the recipe will be there, too. And subscribe, because there's a video every day till the 25th. I love y'all. Merry Trailer Park Christmas, and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Visit my store at JoleneSugarBaker.com.